Sharon Bell here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm working through showing you how to play the broken chords of the ABRSM piano syllabus for grade one. We're now on to the broken chord of G major. Now every broken chord is built up out of the first, the third and the fifth note of a scale. And so if you need to look up how to construct and play that scale of G major, Use the links in the cards in the top right and in the video description and there's a scales playlist which will show you, uh, I've done a video showing you how to play that scale and how to construct the notes of that scale which we will now be using to construct this broken chord in G major. There's also a dedicated page to my YouTube video tutorials on my website, visit SharonBill.com. There's loads of resource there and also there's some free PDF downloads where I itemise and give you a scales list, a practice scales list for these grades, for the ABRSM piano grades. So let's crack on with the broken chord of G major. So the first note of the scale is G, the third note of the scale is B, and the fifth note of the scale is D. So the chord of G major has G, B and D. And so to make a broken chord, we're just going to break that up and play the notes individually. So we play notes G, B, D, and then we rearrange so that we play B at the bass and we've moved the G up to the top so we're playing B D G and then we will move to D at the bass and we'll be then playing D G B. We're just rearranging the order of those three notes. Now the ABRSM prescribe a pretty little pattern to make this little uh, broken chord system and if you look there's a JPEG and I've shown you what exactly it is that we'll, we'll be playing now the fingering for that, so that you don't end up with your fingers in a knot, if you keep fingers 1 and 5 for the outside notes, put in the right hand fingering. If you just remember that we need to alternate the middle finger from 3 to 2 and then 3 again. So if you just remember that alternating pattern of 3, 2, 3, that fingering should then keep your notes safe. So let's have a go. We'll go very slowly. So we begin with G, B, D with finger three in the middle and then we move to B at the base of the broken chord B D G with finger two in the middle now and now we move up to D in the base of that broken chord G B back to the G for that pretty little turnaround that they ask for and we've got finger three in the middle now we reverse that process coming down B, G, D and now move to G at the top with your little finger 2 on D B and now we want D at the top so we move down to little finger on D 3 in the middle on B G finishing on the D makes quite a little pretty pattern there. Let's have another go very slowly once more. Three, two, three. G, B, D. Now B, D, G. Two in the middle. Now D, G, B, G with three in the middle. Back we come. B, G, D. G, D, B with two in the middle, D, B, G, three in the middle, finishing on D. Now the time signature that this is written in, we should be thinking in groups of three rather than just individual notes and it should flow more fluently if you think in threes and just watch out for those long notes at the middle and the end. Here we go then in groups of three. quite a pleasant thing to play once you've got it under your fingers. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you've got this one, all of the others follow the same fingering pattern in this uh, exam syllabus, and so once you've got one, you've got them all. Let's look at the left hand now. So of course we will still be playing notes G, B and D, 
rearranging the order as we go in progression. But this time the left hand fingering, the middle finger changes, the pattern is three, three and then two in the top progression. Let's have a look at that slowly. G, B, D, B in the middle. Now B, D, G, three in the middle again. Now D, G, B, G, two in the middle with this top progression. Reverse the process back. B, G, D. Now G at the top. G, D, B, three in the middle. D at the top. B, G, D, with three in the middle, just where we started. And then if we think about that in groups of three, so we get it flowing musically to the time signature which it's written in. Let's have a go. So just watch out for those long notes in the middle and at the end, and just watch out, it's not always equal spacing. You've sometimes got a bit of an extra stretch to get to the G there so just keep an eye out on that a little bit of practice and you'll soon get there thanks for watching i hope that's been helpful to you if you can subscribe to my channel that would be great there's loads more in store for you i've got loads i want to help to help work through with you if you can give me a like that would be fab and by all means please do check out sharonbill.com there's loads in store for you there and there's loads of videos for you to look back on Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. That would be really encouraging to me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.